Hi friends, welcome to biologyexamsforyou.com. Today's topic is regulatory enzymes of glycolysis and also the rate limiting step of glycolysis within 5 to 10 minutes. Let's begin with the definition of glycolysis. Glycolysis or glucose splitting is the oxidation of glucose to form two pyruvate molecule with the formation of ATP and NADH. Let's move into the topic. Regulatory steps are often the irreversible steps of the pathway. In step 1 of glycolysis, glucose is converted to glucose 6-phosphate. This step is catalyzed by the enzyme hexokinase. Whenever there is addition or removal of phosphate, the enzyme is kinase. Here glucose is a 6-carbon compound, therefore it is called as hexokinase. This is the first regulatory step of glycolysis. We have given a detailed video on 10 steps of glycolysis. You can refer that for more. Hexokinase enzyme is activated by AMP and ADP, indicating low energy level inside the cell. Whereas it is inhibited by glucose 6-phosphate, the product itself, a kind of feedback inhibition. In this step, ATP is utilized. Therefore, unnecessary loss of ATP can be prevented by blocking the pathway using the product itself. Regulatory Enzyme 2 and also the rate limiting step of glycolysis. It is a step 3 where fructose 6-phosphate is converted to fructose 1,6-biphosphate by the enzyme phosphofractokinase or PFK. Here also ATP is utilized and this is a reaction. Phosphate is added therefore the enzyme is kinase. This step is called as the rate limiting step of glycolysis as this reaction is unique to this pathway. Take the case of first step where glucose is converted to glucose 6-phosphate. In that step glucose 6-phosphate can enter into gluconeogenesis, bend off phosphate pathway, there are many other pathways. But this reaction is unique to this pathway, making this the rate limiting step. And this is the enzyme PFK. It is having a catalytic site and an allosteric site. PFK is activated by AMP and ADP, indicating low energy level, and also by fructose 2 6 biphosphate. So, low ATP activates the enzyme, whereas high ATP concentration inhibits the enzyme and also citrate is an inhibitor. Citrate inhibits PFK by enhancing the inhibitory effect of ATP. ATP binds to the allosteric site and causes a conformational change in the catalytic site thereby minimizing the affinity towards the substrate fructose 6-phosphate. Whereas fructose 2,6-biphosphate which is formed by PFK2, another enzyme which is not involved in glycolysis activates PFK by increasing its affinity for the substrate fructose 6-phosphate and inhibiting or reducing the inhibitory effect of ATP. We will be discussing about the role of fructose 2,6-biphosphate in glycolysis in another video. Regulatory enzyme 3 or final regulatory enzyme of glycolysis which is in the step 10 that is the final step where phosphoenol pyruvate is converted to pyruvate. This is the final step of glycolysis. Here ATP is formed and this is a reaction. The phosphate is used to form the ATP. Enzyme is pyruvate kinase. Pyruvate kinase is activated by AMP and ADP and also by fructose 1,6-biphosphate which is the product of the rate limiting step. Fructose 1,6-biphosphate that is formed in the third step or rate limiting step activates the enzyme in the final step of the reaction that is pyruvate kinase. This type of activation is called as feed forward activation. You can refer our video for more on feed forward activation. Enough fructose 1,6-biphosphate which is the committed step activates or promotes the formation of the final product of the reaction that is pyruvate from phosphoenol pyruvate. Therefore, it activates the final enzyme of the reaction that is pyruvate kinase. 
Pyruvate kinase is inhibited by ATP, indicating excess energy, and also by alanine. Alanine is a metabolite that can be easily converted to pyruvate. And also acetyl coenzyme A, which is formed in the link reaction between glycolysis and also Krebs cycle, indicating excess metabolites down the pathway. In short, pyruvate kinase is activated by AMP and ADP and also by fructose 1,6-pi-phosphate which is formed in the third step or rate limiting step of glycolysis whereas inhibited by ATP, acetyl coenzyme A and alanine. These are the three regulatory enzymes involved in glycolysis. Thank you so much for your support. You are with biologyexamsforay.com. If you like this video, please subscribe, share and like.